Louise, you just heard a, a rational kind of, you know, sort of, yeah, inflation, this, and interest here, and money out of nothing, and people's bank. I'd like to hear your interpretation of, 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 of Ubuntu, and, uh, you know, why did you get involved, and what's your, what's your whole, your feeling? I mean, you, 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 as it stands right now, you are poised to possibly become, uh, what, you, what would you call, a, uh, get, a, get a seat in Parliament. Just tell me, what's your whole approach to this? What's your attitude? Well, Scott... Scotty, um, I have a different take. I think I'm not very clued up on banking. I think we have three very capable men here that can handle all that. I, I, my sense of Ubuntu and my interest comes more to, um, into that place of um, where were we before the settlers arrived? There were people living here in Africa that were totally fine living in, in abundance, in harmony with nature. You know, we, we complicate life. We've, we, we've brought upon ourselves this situation and it was never necessary before. You know, it's, it's, it's a, an enforced slavery that comes from this um, Western civilization and the banking thing. My interest it lies more in community and what happened how people lived, how, how they interacted, what their lifestyles were like before we had to worry about earning a living. Because there were people here in Africa that were just being, they were just living beautiful lives. Now, interesting you say that, Louise, because, um, you know, up until a few years ago, before I started, you know, really researching community, what you're talking about now and sustainable and eco communities, and also, you know, being blessed to work with some extremely knowledgeable and researched people um, and well-traveled people in the space, is that there's a stigma to what you just said. I mean, there's a stigma to the, the ancient Africans, the old African, African tribal people, the Bushmen, etc. And that stigma is they were consistently fighting for food, consistently looking for water. It's as if they're trudging through the desert and they're hot and they're tired and they're don't seem to sleep and they don't know where their next meal is going to come from. But actually, if you look and you speak to people who have researched this before, and I'd like to hear your opinion on, on this, is that wasn't the case at all. Bushmen and, 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 all, and exactly. tribal people used to work a couple of hours a day at most. The rest was storytelling. It was adventuring. It was working with children. It was teaching. It was studying the stars. It was philosophizing. Tell me about your opinion on that. And how does this relate to the Ubuntu philosophy? Well, I'm suspicious. I mean, whose story was that, that we were living and fighting and, and suffering before the white man arrived? Whose story is that? You know, um, as you're saying, people have lived in communities forever and never needed a currency to, to survive. People, it's, it's our innate goodwill and, and our connection with the earth that makes it so easy to get along and make beautiful lives together for ourselves and, and to, spend, to be able to spend time philosophizing and, and learning about astrology, being connected to the, to the cycles of nature, because all of those things feed our, who we are. They feed our, our um, ability to, to be able to exist here. And I think, you know, very often we forget that we're living – on a planet, a natural planet that sustains us, and money doesn't sustain us. This planet sustains us, and my Beautiful focus comment. I love that always comment. tries to bring us back to to remembering that we need to go back to that to that way of being. And I believe it's not that far fetched. It's innate. It's within all of us to be able to live and be in a beautiful surrounding with one another, free from all necessity to work you know and just do what we love and be who we are because that's who we are that as human beings that's our reason for being so who's going to uh, shovel the crap then and uh, what about the people that won 50 ferraris i know i was michael and i have an <laughs> ongoing debate but you know my answer and and you know we always looking to government to solve the problems or whatever what is what is the plan but we never consider the fact that with freedom comes responsibility. And, you know, if we want to liberate ourselves, let's liberate ourselves. Let's turn our focus away from the slavery and let's make a plan.
let's all get together and and put our energy and our time and our resources into creative, creating beautiful lives for ourselves. We have to take responsibility. We can't expect anybody to do this for us. Each and every single person needs to take responsibility for themselves and their greater community. And that's the only way Ubuntu is going to work. Ubuntu needs people working together with a similar philosophy or the same philosophy to bring about change. Louise, tell me, um, how are you living now? I mean, what, you know, again, uh, anybody can write about this. Anyone can talk about it. But what are you physically doing on a, on a day-to-day basis that, make, that makes this real? Well, I spend all my time at the Stone Circle Ubuntu Village, which is our little place where we hope to implement the philosophy of, of contributionism. And um, what we'd like to do there is to bring people that share the philosophy and invite them to come and, and contribute their skills, their gifts, what they want to do for the greater good of, of our little community here and start, start proving to ourselves and to others that we really don't need a currency to survive or to exist. You know, we, we have everything available to us in, in, in terms of what we can offer each other Let's and then ourselves. So, so I, I agree, and it's, um, it's decentralized communities – beautiful concept and I know it's a strong part of the of the Ubuntu philosophy and it's really it's really powerful.